I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. Something XD asks this question about cortisol, and a lot of guys have. And I think I may have even done a video on this. He says, Steve, how long should I spend in the gym before I have to worry about cortisol being released and making my muscles smaller? Well, I think this is one of those things that's blown way out of proportion, and when they have nothing to write about in muscle magazines, they put in junk like this. You got to remember, your muscles need stress. That's why they grow. And if you think about all the time you spend in the gym with your muscles under stress, it's really not that long. I mean, maybe during an hour of working out, if you're serious, you might have the weight in your hands that you're lifting it with intensity for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, maybe. So only one third of the time that you're in the gym, you're actually lifting. Because remember, you pick up a weight, you lift it for 10 to 15 to 20 seconds, and then you rest two or three minutes. So that's a pretty good ratio of stress to rest. So I think this is blown way out of proportion. If your workout requires an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, or an hour and a half for you to get it in and train with intensity, that's what you do. Because remember, the longer you wait between sets, the more creatine phosphate and ATP are recreated in the muscle. So again, when guys are talking about, man, I got to get through this workout, I got to speed it up, I'm losing my pump, hey, that's preventing them from training to their maximum. So when guys are going, man, I just can't increase my bench or my squat or my curl, hey, sit down, take an extra two or three minutes of rest, allow your body to regenerate and refuel its muscles. That makes a huge difference. With regards to cortisol, Again, I think it's blown way out of proportion as it pertains to weightlifting because the stress is just not that long. It's not present that long. It's not like, let's say, being an endurance athlete where you're running or you're biking and or swimming or doing all three of those things for two, three, four, five hours or some guys for eight hours. That's stress. In that situation, yes, you have to have tremendous recuperative powers. You can't train too often. As a matter of fact, they've shown that people who are highly trained endurance athletes actually have a shorter life than regular people by two or three years. In that situation, yes, you'd have to worry about recovery and cortisol. So with regards to bodybuilding, I think it's way overrated. And I don't want to tell anybody or scare anybody into having them do something that prevents them from training hard. A majority of people don't train hard enough as it is. So I wouldn't even worry about that. If you're an endurance athlete and you're training like crazy, you can take a supplement called Phosphatidylserine. Its short name is PS. If you look that up, you can take that. That helps diminish cortisol. If you're worried about it, you can take it as a bodybuilder as well. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.